Thank you again for tuning in for another episode of Keeping Up with the Nelsons. Today we are going behind the scenes and really getting to know the main characters of our show. Today we will be going through interviews with the one and only Abby Nelson, Emily Nelson, Aaron Nelson, and Christy Nelson. Tell me a little bit about your goals and aspirations for the pandemic. Stay on top of to stay on top of school to uh rest clean the cat box every day and yeah there abby um can you tell us a little bit about yourself my name is abby i'm 19 years old i live in lake tax washington in a family of four i'm the youngest oh awesome and can you tell us how the coronavirus has impacted your day-to-day life um, one way the coronavirus has impacted my life is now I have to do homework on in my all my classes are online. Hmm. But is there really anything that's changed? Because normally don't you just do homework in bed too and now you're just I don't go to class anymore. I'm on spring break still, but next week I have Zoom calls at certain hours, Emily, that I have to go to for class. I no more <laughs> go to class. I'm living at home now. I used to live in Boise where I went to school, remember? So you used to have to get up and walk to class, but then other than that <laughs> But then other than that, um you would be in bed, so now you're just always in bed? Is is that accurate? Do no. You... All right. Stop trying to put me down. Hi, Emily. So, what are your thoughts about COVID-19? I think it's awful. I think people are dying and others are not taking it serious enough, and it's pissing me the fuck off. Really? Um, would you like to comment on your what you said about a few weeks ago to your sister Abby about how it's not that big of a deal? No, I think you misinterpreted that. I think what I, my whole thing is we need to prepare, but there's no reason to panic. And you and your mother have been absolutely absurd and making everyone panic. And in, we all know anxiety isn't good for the immune system. How would you like to spend your time at home during the quarantine? I've been doing 50 push-ups every day. See that definition? Yeah. Quarantine. Um, I've also been cooking a lot. I make cookies. What has been the hardest part of the quarantine for you? Not seeing my pumpkin poo. I knew you were going to say that. What has been the best part? I enjoy doing my themed morale monster events every night. Any last words? Um, thank you for all the followers. Follow me on TikTok and BNL15. Hello, Em. (laughs) Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Christy Ruth Nelson, born 1970 on the second day of February. It's <laughs> funny. Are you hammered? No. Nope. You weren't born on the second? <coughs> Delete. <coughs> you were not born on the second? Delete it. Okay, well, st- well the camera keeps rolling. Okay, nope, All right. Gonna... Okay, deep. It's done. Okay. Nope, nope. How has know. quarantine been for you? Well, a little crazy. Stuck in the house with my two daughters who've been away at college. I'm used to me and Aaron being here. My OT life, my work life, and life. now my life is like I get up at six, I clean the house, I sterilize everything, wait for my family to wake up, steps. get about fifty thousand steps a day. I've been working out and walking a lot, and then I come home and about three o'clock I have wine, and I probably drink until eight. <laughs> I go to bed. If you had to think of a celebrity that you embody during this time, who would it be? To have the body on me, Brad nope. Pitt. Hello, Aaron. Can you please tell us how quarantine has been for you? Great. <laughs> and what are some of the best activities you've done? Work from home. Anything else? No. Any fun activities? Work. <laughs> And then we decided to race one another. Abby and Christy won, but we do believe those dirty bastards probably cheated. I thought my dad was going to die. He was breathing very heavily and pretended like he was going to vomit a few times. Quiet on the set, please. But um, he did it. We ran a 13-minute mile. Here is the lovely family at the starting line. And then a little update from your one and only president, Mr. Trump. Get the economy back and running! 
And then Emily made a delicious coffee. No, this is not peanut butter. This is instant coffee, a little sugar, a little hot water, whipped for about 20 minutes. And then you just dump that shit over some coconut milk. It's delish. And then we're stuck! Sorry, their heads are cut off. I don't know if they're stuck. We all got baked. Thanks again for keeping up with the Nelsons. We hope you enjoyed this video. Love and appreciate you all. Bye.